This is Marcus Corval with MMA Nut, and we're here in Orange County for RFA 23, featuring Taron Ware as the main event, and you won a, a great fight, possibly the fight of the night. Congratulations, how are you feeling? I feel great, man. I came out here and executed everything I want to execute, and I got a great fight and a tough fight out of Joe Murphy. It pleased the fans. Uh, I hope it pleased the fans uh, watching at home as well, too, and uh, I'm just very happy and excited. Main event, crowd is on the feet, and to say that you were the fight of the night is a lot because there were some really great fights here tonight. Um, it, it was a four, back and forth kickboxing, mainly boxing, but um, it, it took you down once in the second. Were you expecting him to try to go for the takedown more? Um, I, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I kind of, um, I was on the fence about it. I was ready for it. Um, I know in his last couple of fights, he's, he's done really good hit with his hands and his stand-up. Um, I know he has a jiu-jitsu base, so, you know, he wants to make the next level. I'm, I'm pretty sure he wants to get some experience in there, you know, on the feet. Um, so I was prepared for both. You know, he did shoot for that takedown. Um, you know, I had a really good double leg, but um, I, I worked, uh, you know, getting up this entire camp. I worked with a lot of good wrestlers. And, um, you know, I got right back up to my feet and went back at it with my kickboxing. And um, But, um, yeah, I mean, I expected him to shoot a little more, but... Um, um, I wasn't surprised that he didn't. Now, uh, he came in six pounds overweight yesterday. Uh, did you feel that weight difference? Um, not right, not really, not right away. I, um, you know, over at Systems Training Center, we have a great CrossFit program, um, you know, and I, I implemented a lot more of that into my, into my, um, into my training. Um, you know, I was a little opposed to it in the beginning, partially because I didn't know what I really would know what I was doing. Um, so I implemented that, and um, you know, I, I felt really strong despite you know, he, you know, he, he probably outweighed me by 10, 15 pounds in there. You know, just looking at it side by side. Um, but um, I, I felt strong. You know, when he, when he took me down, I was able to get right back up to my feet. Um, you know, even in the clinch, you know, he. he was the one breaking away as opposed to you know me breaking away and um you know i felt strong in there now um joe murphy is known to be a strong guy he, he, people say he punches hard it looked like he he caught you a couple of times in the third or you mainly playing person no you know the um, the first one he hit me with it rocked me a little bit and i kind of tried to draw him in but the second time he hit me it really did rock me um you know but we me and my coaches we constantly go over body language and um you know the way you look in, inside of the cage the judges are looking at you you know i, I can't go in there and look you know, and back up against the fence and look like I'm hurt, you know. So when he hit me, I backed up a little bit, you know, got my composure, you know, threw a couple of punches and circled off back into the center of the cage and went after him, you know, to make sure I get those strikes back. And, um, you know, but he, yeah, he hits, he hits very hard. He's one of the hardest hitting 35ers, in, you know, in the world. And I, I took his best punch and, you know, and, and walked right through it and, and came at him. Now, uh, he spoke to you a couple of times in there. What was he saying to you? Uh, I kicked him in the head, and he go. He was like, "Oh, nice! That was a nice combo. It was great." And then, uh, and then there was um, there was uh, there was a combination that he threw, and I was like, "Yeah, nice." And we we're kind of you know going back and forth, mutual respect. You know, you know, we're best two of the best 35ers in the world, and um, you know, we both you know we, we liked what we saw on the other side. Um, you know, from from the both of us, and you know, we acknowledge that inside of the cage. No reason, you know, during a fight why we can't have fun. Now you're 12 and four. Uh, you've been three. Close. <laughs> One more win. One less loss, um, and 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 you uh, you've been knocking on the door to the UFC for a while. We know that RFA has been great at getting fighters into the UFC. Would you rather go for a title fight for RFA and then possibly get the fight or get into the UFC or? No, I, I want I want the UFC right now. Sean Shelby, Dana White, if you're listening, please. Um, I know you're looking to revamp your roster. I'm one of the most excited 135ers out here. You know, if you got a spot, uh, fill it. I'm ready. I'm going to be back in the gym on Monday. I'm on weight. I'm in shape, 365. Um, you know, two weeks notice, one week notice, three days notice. I'm ready to fight at 35. Um, you know, if for whatever reason they're not ready to pull the trigger, then absolutely I'd love to come back and fight for the RFA title. Um, but I want to make that next step. I know I'm ready. I, I know for sure I'm ready. And, you know, hopefully, you know, they feel the same way. So we'll see. Is there anyone in the 135 division that you would like to get in there with? Um, you know, any of them. It doesn't matter. You know, the UFC does a great job of pulling in really, really good talent. And I think I'll match up well against anybody right now. Um, so it doesn't matter, whoever. Looking forward to your future, Tyron. Thank you very much. Thank you.